Now, in today's uh, series, we'll look at another hematomatous lesion of the brain. And it's a very often asked uh, spotter to the radiology residents. So, the purpose of this series, we have uh, called this series as radiology spotter series. And we deal with uh, cases which are easily diagnosable on an image. So, let us straight away jump to the image and see what is the finding. This is a young child who presented to us with precocious puberty. Whenever we think of the word precocious puberty and we see MRI brain, we start thinking of maybe hypothalamic lesions. So, what do you think is the diagnosis in this patient? So, let us go anatomically. This is the boundaries of the third ventricle. So, this is the area. I am marking the third ventricle for you. This is the area of the corpus callosum. You can see the midbrain here. This is the midbrain. This is the cerebellar vermis. This is the area of the optic chiasma. This is infundibulum. You can see the pituitary, spinoid, sinus, clivus. And you can see a problem here. So, this is... How do I describe this? This is a T1-weighted image and this looks iso-intense to the grey matter. So, you can see a lesion, a, a pedunculated lesion in the area of the tuber cinerium which is between the mammillary body and the infundibular stalk which is iso intense to grey matter on T1 weighted image okay although we don't have a contrast enhanced image right now but this lesion was non enhancing so what is the summary a iso intense lesion to grey matter in the area of tuber cinerium between the mammillary body and the infundibular stalk with a patient with history of precocious puberty which is non enhancing what are we looking at we're looking at a hypothalamic hematoma now here i want to introduce to you this is also called as tuber cinerium hematoma it is a hematomatous lesion i want to introduce to you a few uh, take home message which you need to remember one is this lesions can present with gelastic seizures what is gelastic seizures gelastic seizures means bouts of laughter in this the child would have small bouts of laughter so that is a very typical presentation of this lesion second is this lesion is associated with central precocious puberty which is probably due to over secretion of gonadotropin release in GnRH hormone this is a hematomatous lesion this is non neoblastic this is believed to be probably because of anomalous neuro neural migration between 35 to 40 days in utero which is the time where hypothalamus is being formed so this is uh, a case of tuber cinerium hematoma for more such educational videos please follow us on damn silly channel of youtube thank you very much